All right, hey, here's Big here, and this is the QS versus Sauron motor comparison video. All right, so uh, we're just gonna kind of just take a quick glance and look between the two motors since I got them both out of the bike right now. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and do it. All right, I'm gonna stand over here. All right. Um, anyway, um, so one thing. One the big the biggest difference I could see, all right, is the the shafts, all right, all right, the um, the motor shafts. The QS motor has a much bigger uses a much bigger nut, all right. I don't really know where to get this nut, but hopefully it lasts a long, long time. All right, I'm gonna go measure it right now in millimeters. All right, this guy is 15. It's an odd size, 15.6 millimeters. Odd size. Okay, and then I'm gonna go check the one. I'm gonna check the threads on the Sauron. Okay, 11.8. All right, I know it's upside down. 15.6, and the Sauron is 11.8. All right, so almost four millimeters difference. All right, and you could definitely tell the difference in the nuts. All right, so the holes are much bigger. All right, this is a 24, this takes a 24 millimeter socket to take out, all right, guys? This is a 19, the stock one is a 17, though, all right? This is a Honda nut, all right? Also, this one comes with a, a conical washer, all right, a locking washer. This one didn't come with that, all right? Um, basically, this one comes like this, all right? All right, and then, and then this, this was on there, all right? That's it. Uh, it's it's not super critical that you have a locking nut on the Sauron because the motor when the motor spins it actually tightens the nut. Okay, so I don't think that's a big deal breaker type thing. Okay, another thing we can compare is the keys. All right, so this is the key for the uh, for the QS motor. All right, this little guy, and this is the key for the Sauron motor. So you can see the QS motor key is a little bit smaller. All right, will this will this fit on the QS motor? Yes, yes it will. Okay. I think it's gotta go the other way. So maybe Hades Omega will put that back, okay? Yeah. Maybe we'll use this one. Okay, since it's a little bigger. Alright, this one's just a it looks like a pill, okay, is what it looks like. Alright. Slightly shorter, alright. Those are the keys. Okay, um, the shaft should be the same diameter, so I will go measure them. All right, this one is 20 millimeters ish. Try not to get the key. Let's move this a little bit. Okay, this is 20 millimeters, right? 20.17. Okay, there might be a little difference. Uh, also, there is a there's a step. Yeah, there's a big step on this motor, guys. All right, there's a bunch of grease here, too. There's a big step right here where this one doesn't have a step. All right, so let me measure Let me measure from where this step is here to the step right here, and then from here to, the, to where it'll stop on the shaft, okay? So I'm going to go use the little tail tool here. Okay. From distance from there to step is 16 millimeters distance from this step to the bottom step is 16 millimeters okay so it's roughly the same uh, for whatever reason this one is sticking out a lot more all right but um, yeah I hope I hope everything all lines up fine all right there's the seals for the for the bearings we can go measure how wide that is That look, it says 39 millimeters. We could probably call that 40 millimeters, okay? Okay, the seal's actually a little smaller on this one. This is 35 millimeters, all right? Versus that 39, 40 millimeters, okay? Um, it's got the, the cover bolts right here, all right? The cover bolts, let me line them up perfectly. So these are these are the cover bolts, all right, for the uh, for the belt cover, all right. And it does this does have it, all right. 
it did not come with the bolts all right but i can i can tell you i can tell you that the cover i'm not going to use the cover by the way guys but just in case you're wondering Okay, the Sauron belt cover does work with this, okay? It does work, as you just saw. It's like they made this motor just to fit in the Sauron. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, when I ordered this motor, it said nothing about the Sauron on it, okay? It doesn't fit, say it fits a Sauron, it doesn't fit a Segway, you know, it didn't say anything like that. Okay, okay. so uh, this is the... Uh, I guess this is the back side of the motor where the sprocket is. Um, it's got these same ribs, all right? Very much like the Sauron motor. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ribs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ribs, okay? Um, it's got this raised circular section here. It looks kind of like a pizza, all right? The finish on this motor is, it's a smooth matte finish, right? This is a kind of, it's more a more porous kind of, uh, metal material okay these are the motor mounts right here they all line up okay there are one two three four five six seven eight bolts one two three four five six seven eight yep eight bolts on this side and one two three four five six there's only six bolts on this side okay holding the motor together so there's a difference right there Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, this one has eight. Okay, uh, let's turn it over on its side. Okay, you can see the the little heat sinks that are on the on the um, the motors. All right, this one has a nice kind of anodized gold finish, while this one is black. The whole QS motor is black. All right, guys, um, and the heat sinks, they're there, but they don't look like it doesn't look as chunky as the one on there. That's, but actually, this motor looks a little bit bigger. It does look a little bit bigger. It's a more squared off, too. Okay. Yeah, in fact, let's go measure. Let's go measure the diameter real quick. Okay, I'm gonna measure the motor diameter. Okay. In millimeters, as best as I can with this. This one looks like it's 18 centimeters. Okay. Well, this one is, and I'm measuring like from the edge, like where the, I don't know, where kind of like the heat sinks are sticking out, okay? Okay, this is 18 centimeters also, okay? Very similar dimensions. Okay. All right, let's go uh, flip it over. It's kind of hard because the, the shafts are our thing, okay? But they're kind of orientated in the same way. Okay, so here's what the front covers look like. All right. Um, so these are phase wires are coming out here. What's this one? This one's blue, yellow. Ah, okay, they're different. All right, the green. No, 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 they're not different. All right, the green here. It goes blue, green, yellow. Okay. And this is blue, green, and yellow, okay? They're the same. This is your hall sensor connectors, okay? Um, you can see there's this plate here covering everything. I think where this one has three screws here holding the plate here that hold, that covers all the wiring and stuff around the sensors. This one has five Phillips head screws holding this plate together, okay? Um, this one has the serial number right here. All right, this says it's for a 72 volts, 5,000 watts. All right, it's Sia Ecosys here. All right, this is who I bought it from. They've got their own logo there. This one has the Suron logo, obviously. All right, there is a serial number right here for the Suron. So the serial numbers are in different places. Suron motor looks legit, guys, is what I wanna say. <laughs> okay. Okay, and yeah, the way the phase wires come out are different. Um, there's a little, like a grommet coming here. Well, here it has like a, it has kind of like a, what's this? Uh, it's a connector. I think it's called a connector. <laughs> it has a connector right here, okay? And it, I'm not really sure how these go on there and everything. 
Um, this these have like a little net over it, all right, which is nice. I kind of like that. I I kind of want to put something like that over this, all right. I kind of don't like this orange stuff sticking out of here, <laughs> all right. Um, I wish this this one doesn't have a net on it either. All right, it's just a big wire here with the shrink tubing here and then all these exposed wires but I, I don't think it really matters all that much all this stuff is going to be tucked up under the bike you're not really going to see it okay guys it's got the two motor mounts right here and then uh and then yeah this one kind of looks like it's kind of more sticks out more sort of and like i said this one has uh six bolts for versus this one has eight bolts holding the motor together okay I think that's pretty much it. That's all the kind of uh, we can weigh them. All right. So okay, guys. So we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go weigh this. Um, I've already weighed it before, but I've already weighed the QS motor before. Oh, it's heavy. I have to use both my hands to pick it up. Okay, it's 15 pounds, eight ounces. Okay, for the QS motor. All right, without the bolts and all that stuff. And the Soron motor is. 15 pounds, 8.6 ounces. It's they pretty much weigh exactly the same, guys. <laughs> okay, so one thing I did notice when I installed this on the bike. All right, let me flip it around this way. The phase wires, the the um, at least the ring terminals. All right, the the ends to it are bigger on this. Okay, look at there, they're bigger. It's a good like two millimeters bigger so I had problems installing it because it didn't quite fit where the other ones fit okay yeah okay there you go so that's my comparison video between the two motors all right um, they look virtually identical all right almost they almost look identical obviously there's some stuff that's changed different here and there but the dimensions are all the same the weights are pretty much all the same the, the way the wires are set up and the sensor set up where it comes from is all set up the same all right um, of course this one this one's just a little bit different than the Suron one it's obviously it's a QS motor not a Suron motor okay as you can see here all right this has got the Suron logo here this is a CO Ecosys motor okay but uh yeah so let's go ahead and install it all right, thanks for watching. So that's the comparison video between the QS165 versus the Suron motor, all right? All right, here's me out.